I'm about a five-hour drive north of Boston and a beautiful little harbor in Rockport, Maine. Now, all of these people are here to meet somebody who is just as important to this part of the country as Paul Revere, New England clam chowder, and lobster. His name is Andre. We've read all about him, now we want to see him. We hear a lot about it, so we thought we'd come down and take a look. We always come and see Andre whenever we have guests, because... Well, he's special. He's great. He's our ambassador. A folk hero to the people of Rockport, Andre is so well liked that they built a marble statue in his honor. A book on his life story, it's on its way to becoming a movie. And in the center of town, a souvenir shop with Andre t-shirts, pillows, and puppets. Well, they come all the way from whole families, from Tennessee. Grandpa, grandmother, mother and father and the kids. And they come in the store and they say, we've come all the way from Tennessee to see Andre. They love him. It's a love affair. This is in silver. Yeah, that's cute. They buy everything in sight, anything that's Andre. 25, 50. Okay, bye. Andre, I think it's the thing between Harry and Andre that make it so special. Maybe Harry Goodrich, I don't know. It's unique. The fact that he has such affection. He spends so much time with him. Right? For more than 15 years, Andre's teacher, his protector, and his best friend. Very commendable, Steve. Harry Goodrich. I don't know. Uh, you know, I liked what he was doing, and so I'm his biggest fan. And so then other people started to gather around because they became fans, too. I, why he's so popular, he's, he's great, that's why. It's a very unusual, humane relationship. Well, he trusts me, for one thing. I mean, I've never did, you know, never did a, a dirty deal on Andre. I've never tricked him into anything. And uh, I certainly give him plenty of fish. Andre, here, come on. That's a boy. Come on, come on, come on. Come There's two on. things you gotta know when you train a seal. Number one, they're super intelligent. Number okay. two, they'll sell their soul for a fish. Hey, Andre, it's me, buddy. That's all you gotta know. Hi, Andre. Look at this. He, he says, look at this ham. Are you sure you don't have a little actor in a seal suit? <laughs> no, that's a real McCoy. Well, first of all, I was a, a commercial scuba diver. You know, I used to dive, and I, I got kind of lonesome. You know, when I was diving all alone, doing these jobs, and, and I kept thinking about previous years when I had a dog to go hunting with. And a dog was very faithful, you know, but you can't use a dog in the water, can you? Not underwater, anyway. So I kept thinking and thinking, there's thousands of seals out here. Nobody pays any attention to them. I thought, man, a baby seal. I'll train that son of a gun to go diving with me. I went out and I caught a baby seal and trained him, and he used to go diving with me. Yeah, Andre, blow it out. Blow it out. Andre, cut it out. Andre, you know how much these pants cost, Andre? Fish. It'll cost you about 15 fish, okay, buddy? You <laughs> feed this thing, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think he liked it. Oh, I think Andre is just so cute. <laughs> What's his favorite TV show? The only one he ever saw was uh, Flipper. What do you think of Flipper, Andre? What do you think of Flipper? Oh, that's not a nice shame on you. You know what else? Can you pose for the camera? Pose. Oh. Andre. Oh, get your flippers up. Oh. Now, show, show me desire. Come on, Andre, show me desire. A lot of people don't like the looks of this, but Andre does. <laughs> he made a great lifestyle. <laughs> I mean, you imagine breaking in and looking at this? Yeah. This one man that came in trying to sell me an ad in the uh, telephone book came in the kitchen, and Andre was asleep on the kitchen floor, and the man came in kind of fast, <laughs> and uh, he stepped over Andre, and then he did a double take, and he says, what the heck is that thing? He, he didn't know what it was. <laughs> Thought it was a dog at first. Andre, you going down the harbor or not? That doesn't hurt him, huh, Harry? I mean, he's going across all these rocks. No, no, he's tough. He's tough, huh? Why don't you go in the grass, Andre? He's a tough seal. You know the way, Andre. That's it. I mean, that's a that's a different kind of walk. I don't know how to describe it, whether he crawls or what. Uh... He doesn't have little legs down there, huh? No. Oh, that's a rough grind, isn't it, Andre? Boy, won't that water feel good when you get into it? The difference between you and I, I don't like to swim. Now, I used to let him free. The first 12 years of his life, he was free to come and go as he pleased in the winter. But he became such a pest to the fishermen. Not that he was vicious, but uh, he used to sleep in their boats, and he weighs over 200 pounds. And when he gets in a boat, a little small dinghy, why, and he tips it over, the boat fills with water, and they didn't like that. And I don't blame him. 
So I had to do something, and the New England Aquarium very graciously said, sure, we'll keep him for the winter. And so all the seals love him down there. They have a bunch of seals there that they keep permanently, and when he comes in, they all clamber all over him, and he's good-natured, and he just pushes them off, and he has a, they have a ball with him down there. He's a romantic seal. You know. So now we send him down to the aquarium for the winter and uh, let him go in the spring. Andre swims 200 miles up the coast, returning to Rockport Harbor, his friend and his fans. And this is his home. This is his home. Rockport, Maine is his home. And this is where he wants to be. Come on, get him. That was intriguing, that he would come back to the same place. Every year we wait for him, and is he going to do it? And like this year, he made it in record time, and that means he loves it here. So we love him. Now listen, Andrea, what I want you to do is put this collar on. Well, it just built up, that's all, over the years. And, and introduce yourself, okay? I had a, a, a special feeding time when I'd feed him, and when I'd go to feed him, there'd be crowds of people there watching. All right, now pose. Well, I just used to, I entertain him, that's all, and, and entertain myself, too, while I'm doing it, because I, I love him, too. That's a good boy, Andre. Give me a kiss. Yes, sir, shake hands. That's a good boy. Well, okay, Andre uh, is quite a jumper, and he does several types of jumps, so I guess uh, we'll see if he'll do them tonight. What do you think, Andre? You want to jump? You do? Okay. How about the big jump first, okay? He does a little thing that he calls the twist, I guess. Okay, do the twist. Come on, dance. Come on, that a boy. Go ahead, that's it. Okay, Andre, yeah, that's all right. No animal show would be complete unless the animal jumps through a hoop. What do you think, Andre? You want to jump through the hoop? Well, okay, bring me the hoop then. Okay, that's once, but I think he was lucky that time. We'll try it again. That's twice. I don't think he can do it three times. In fact, I'd be willing to bet on it, but try, Andre, anyway. I'll probably jump over the drain. Ah! <laughs> all I want to have is enough fish to take care of him, and I just want him for my pet, that's all. I have no ambition to be a big star or anything else. He doesn't either. All he wants is fish, and that's what I aim to get him for. <laughs>